Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today we've got Gunslinger West London Suicidal. And uh, today... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw the the missing textures and I'm like, uh... Uh... <laughs> something seems wrong here. And then it crashed. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh my. Whatever will we do? Drink more water. Now, a good YouTuber would just restart and, like, re-record. Unfortunately for all of us involved, I don't fall under that category, you know? Categorically, I'm, I'm more of a lazy YouTuber. And the way I see it is if I stop recording, then I have to, like, welcome you back again. And who wants to do that? Not me. That's for sure. It'll load, don't worry. It'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, okay, we're here. Let's hop in. It'll pop up. Nope, it's it's uh, it's it's bug splatted again. Are we are we out of are we out of memory? Is that what's happening? No. Memory seems okay. We'll we'll give it another try here. Come on. I need you to work. Otherwise, it's going to be a couple of really bad episodes here if I got started on the... Well, I guess I can... I've got the one extra episode right now. It's working out really well, actually. I know it doesn't, like, seem like it as of yet. But, uh, like, one or two more days here and, like, all of the issues with... Um... Yeah, just, just all of the issues in general <laughs> with, with the upload schedule. It's just going to kind of fade away as I get off my ass. It's going to just fade away magically by me putting in the effort to, to make the change. How are you guys doing? It's two minutes of black screen. You guys still here? You still watching? Is this, is this enjoyable content for you? I'm not out of memory, so I don't know. I don't know why it's breaking. I don't know why. Okay. I don't see any missing textures. I don't see any issues. Everything looks okay. I think. I think we're good. I think we're okay here. Look at me go, dude! Like I am on it today. I don't know why, but. The, the lack of ability to, uh, okay, I jinxed it. I jinxed myself, is what I did here. Um, any hoozle. I got started on reading that, uh, 3CM Hunter manhwa. It's really interesting, actually. It's a really cool story. Uh... So the, uh, the baseline of it is that uh, some dude's sister writes a book about how all the people in the world have shrunk to 1 50th their normal size. And uh, then it actually ends up happening in the real world and it, it's based on her book that she wrote basically. Except the book is kind of being written in other places as well. And uh, then... Um, the main character gets a couple of special powers, but isn't like stupidly overpowered. It's uh, it's kind of it's kind of cool to see, and it's a really interesting uh, idea. And the way they're executing it is pretty pretty cool. Cause like you, know, you get shrunk down to three centimeters, and it's like all of a sudden you know you're at the grocery store, which is you know seven eight kilometers away from your house. You get shrunk down to a fiftieth your size. That distance just, like, grew 50 times, right? Like, now you can't just walk back to your house that's an hour away. Now it's 50 hours away. And the whole way, you know, you're having to deal with, uh, you know, um, ants, which are the size of you now. Kind of. A little bit smaller, I guess. But, you know, you got to deal with, like, dogs and cats birds, rats, all these animals, you know, you're you crossing, like, you, you look at all this, this, this stuff on the ground here, right? Like, this is, 
not not super unusual for for ground texture, right? Like that's those are huge. Not not huge, but they're definitely hazardous to to somebody who's, you know, three centimeters tall, right? Don't mind me just flexing. Um, you know, definitely hazardous. So it's uh, it's kind of cool to see, and then. Like the main character isn't just stupidly overpowered, and so people are dying, and and like stuff is going on, and like it's 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 brutal, and it's it's really really good. I really enjoy it. It's not at all what I thought it would be, but that's usually the case, <laughs> you know. When 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 you read a title, generally speaking, it's it's fairly hard to to get a good idea of what the story is going to be. Because it could be anything, you know, three centimeter hunter, okay? Like, are all the hunters three centimeters? Is it's just the one hunter three centimeters? You know, like, who knows? It could go in, in so many different ways, you know? And, uh... Yeah. So it's, you know, it's usually the case. I'm so glad I noticed that other husk firing. Holy hell, dude! What the heck is this over here? Okay, we'll just take these guys out here. My god! <laughs> what the heck was that? How many husks was that? It was like one, two, three, four, five, six. Six husks? Six or seven husks? Like, what the heck, man? Just, <laughs> just like a barrage. A freaking battery of, of, of husks just firing down the range. That's why you don't stand down range, you know? Because that's the kind of situation you find yourself in. It's terrifying, man. Anyway, this, uh, this three centimeter hunter is, is pretty good. It's a really, really cool Manwa. Uh, if you guys like Manwa, <clears throat> you like that kind of media format, uh, it, gets, it gets a big recommendation from me. It certainly does. Other stuff in my life. There's not really much going on, honestly. I've been I've been playing Maple Story. Um, I have to get to editing the Minecraft series again, because um, I haven't. <laughs> I have the episode there. I just I have to get off my butt and edit it, and then like start recording it. I'm just trying to think of how I'd want to handle the time, because I'm not sure I want to commit. You know, like fully to it. So I'm not sure I want to go about doing it all. I, I think I want to though. I, I think I do. I'm just I'm not. Not 100% sure I'm feeling it. Totally, you know? But then I also, I think about, like, not making Minecraft videos, and I'm like, I don't know, that also seems kind of unfun. But then also, like, making them is kind of, like, I don't know. Also fun, so I, I don't know. I like I like the base we've got going on in that series. I just I haven't been motivated to play, is is the main thing. It's not it's not because of the an addiction to Maple Story or anything like that. Like, this, this started happening... Before I got into Maple Story, what was I doing before then? I think it was typing. Um, playing other games too. I just, uh, I haven't wanted to, honestly. Yeah, I, I, overall I, I do, so I should probably force myself to do it. Because I think that in the at, at, you know, at the end of the day, I, I think it's something that I want to do. I just, I'm having trouble finding the motivation to do it. So I should just do it, right? I don't know. I mean, I think what's happened is that the episode that I've recorded isn't really good. A lot happened in it that, that I wasn't really satisfied with, and it kind of has me not wanting to record it. Like, another problem is that I've got all these clips, right? And and it's I have to, like, go sort through them, which is going to be a pain. But, uh, you know, also, they just they take up a lot of disk space, so it's it's been a real problem um, recording KF2, too. Um, just, just because of that act. Like, what the heck? Did I not come down here? How did this all close? Uh, it's been a problem going through and recording all of the KF2 stuff because it... Like... I'm running out of disk space and I have a 6 terabyte hard drive sitting, you know, in, in, uh, in a drawer. I just have to actually go and, like, install it. I've just... I don't know. I might do that tomorrow. Just get it over with, you know? It'd be really nice to have that 6 terabyte hard drive, because, again, the disk space has been a bit of a problem, honestly, so... 
to uh, to kind of just be rid of that problem for for at least a while, and just not have to worry about disk space. Well, to a certain extent, anyway. I only have like 700 or 800 gigs total, like raw, of uh, of solid state storage. So I think I have a 500 gig SSD, and then a 200 gig SSD, like a 500 and a 256 or something. Um, and uh, And, um, so I do have to kind of worry about that stuff. Although, I don't really install too many games, and those are really the things that I'd want to have on the SSD. Most stuff doesn't really benefit from being on an SSD that much, to be honest with you. Like, the, uh, the draw of an SSD is definitely, oh god, please, 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 please. The draw of an SSD is definitely there, and, like, it's definitely hugely beneficial. Like I could, I could not go back to not having an SSD. Like it's, it's incredibly good. Um, but I think that it's oftentimes overrepresented. Um, perhaps not for for too much longer, um, because of the whole like PS5s. Um, like direct access from the GPU or something like that. I forget exactly what they're doing, but there's something with the PS5 which is like. Um, Allowing the GPU to add directly access the the CPU memory, or allowing the C, or, or, I can't I can't remember exactly. No, it's it's got to do with the SSDs. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, it's, it's something to do with allowing the GPU or the CPU or whatever to kind of like, or the GPU has like I forget what it is. Okay, but it's it's something about how they're going to be able to use um, higher resolution textures that are compressed. Right, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna be able to use higher resolution textures that are compressed because I forgot to buy uh, Glock. Um, because the GPU will have like a hardware decoder thingy on it. Um, so on the SSD, there will be all these like high res compressed textures. And uh, then. Um, you're not. You're not hitting me. Uh, that's only possible because the uh, the PS5 has very high speed um, storage, like it is using a proper SSD, and the GPU has support for that, right? So the, the SSD is fast, and the GPU has the support with the hardware decoder to be able to uh, to actually like accomplish that. Um, otherwise, it would it would not be possible. So this is a bit of a problem, right? Think you think we'll make it? I'm thinking maybe. I, we would definitely make it if I just picked up a, a little container thingy like that, right? But that's cheating! Um, so the PS5 has that, and then... Uh, PC has that as well. PS5 like was advertising as being like the the revolutionary thing, and like the technology itself is revolutionary, but it, it's not only on PS5. <laughs> they were just the first to announce it. Because you got you got to remember, right, that like the hardware decoder that uh, that the PS5 is using, it's ju it's just. It, it's it's just an AMD graphics card that they have in the PS5. Whatever thing they have, AMD's putting it out on their next GPUs, right? Like, they're not going to just be like, yeah, you can have it. We're not going to release it on ours, though. You know, this new technology that we work together to develop, yeah, you can have it, but we're not going to get anything out of it. You know, no, like, th th that, no, <laughs> not happening, right? So whatever, you know, the consoles get, PC's going to get as well. Um, it's just the way it goes. Um, and then kind of like games in general are, are typically made for consoles even if you have them on PC typically what you'll get is like increased settings and stuff like that you're not going to get any kind of like revolutionary um, like stuff on PC too much because um, games are going to be developed for the, 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 the lowest common denominator right and that's definitely consoles uh, that is a lot so you got uh, you got the consoles with this new fancy 
hardware decoder chip thingy on it, right? And then the SSDs, which are going to be fast. So now game developers are going to be building for that to be able to take advantage of that and uh, have those high-res textures and the, the fast loading times and all that. And uh, so games are going to be built more reliance on fast storage. Uh, so in the near future, it might not necessarily just be like a, a quality of life thing to have a, an SSD. It might be like minimum spec. Um, at the same time, SSDs aren't really that expensive either. So there's no real reason to not have one. Um, in the, house. the GPUs aren't particularly cheap though. They're, they're, they're fairly expensive. Um, but again, they're, they're going to come down in price as well. and It'll all be... It'll all be pretty good as we as we kind of raise up the uh, the technology chain of, uh, of of graphics processors and stuff. Anyway, the, the moral of the story, I guess, is I only have a little bit of uh, solid state storage on this computer. So even after I get the six terabyte um, spinning disk installed, uh, I'll still have to concern myself with storage a little bit. But I don't I don't really install much anyway. Like, I, I haven't installed a game in uh, a few months, probably, honestly. Well, whenever I would have, whenever I would have installed MapleStory, I guess. But then before that, like a, a few months. And even MapleStory is like a month away, so. I guess the last one I would have installed before MapleStory would have been Terraria. Yeah. But I just, I don't really feel, uh... Like, anything other than games really benefits from having an SSD. Because it, it's it's loading it, right? That, that That's the problem. Like, once you've loaded the game, it's, uh... Once you've loaded whatever it is that you're loading, right? Like, you got a, a game or a program or something on your SSD. Once it's loaded in memory, it's not being read from the, the disk anymore, right? It's being read from, from memory. So you, 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 you don't really have to worry about it when it's not continuing to load in new assets and even with with like programs for the most part uh, with what I do um, my assets are still being stored on like physical storage um, the, the spinning disk stuff you know uh, which is fine but it's just uh you know, because 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 like when I'm when I'm doing any kind of work, typically what I'm doing is video editing. If I'm going to be doing anything, video editing, um, I do a little bit of Photoshop as well uh, for the thumbnails, but uh, and uh, and a, and a little bit of other stuff as well. But but mostly just the thumbnails, like almost exclusively. Um, but my uh, my videos. <laughs> <laughs> they're like for for this video that we're recording right now it, it's probably going to take up eight maybe nine gigs of disk space like it's it's a lot of of disk space being used per video right and i record three of them a day now so that's like 30 gigs of, of storage and i'm not necessarily like you know editing these videos anyway but uh you know let's let's say that i am so let's say i'm recording Uh, I got a text message that seems fairly important, actually. Where your car was parked on the road was a pile of garbage. Any chance you might clean your car out and forgot about it? No. I did not clean my car. That garbage is either not mine or dropped it out of the car when used it okay Apparently there's a pile of garbage where, where my car was which is uh, not good it's not my garbage but you know <laughs> who's gonna believe that right my, my car definitely has garbage in it but, uh, like, I, I don't just leave it on the, you know, like, I don't just do that. 
right? Like, like I, I leave it in my, I leave the garbage in my car, and then when I remove it from my car, I'll, I'll put it in the, in the garbage bin. I don't just like leave it on the ground, like, no. And and when I do clean my car, I, I, I pull it into the driveway anyway, just so that uh, if I do end up making a mess, you know, it's in our driveway rather than out on the road. Um. And it's just easier anyway, because like if I have to pull in a bunch of garbage, I don't want to have to like walk from out on the road. I want to be a little bit closer to the garbage bin, um, and uh, you know the hose and all that kind of stuff to be able to actually like clean the car. Anyway, not my garbage, but it's at where my car was, so it'll end up. Uh, well, hopefully it gets cleaned up or something. It's not mine, so I don't know concerning though like even if even if it's not mine it's it's not somebody trying to frame me right like that's i mean it might be actually um people don't like my car being there there's nothing wrong with it where it is like it's legal to park it there it's it's perfectly fine um there's there's nothing wrong with it being there like it, it fits in all of the like you know by guidelines and laws and, and all that right like it's fine um but people just don't like seeing it. I'm like, well, sucks to be you then, because I gotta park my car somewhere. So, you know, if you don't like it there, then install a uh, install a garage on our house, and I'll park it there. But uh, you know, unless you're paying for it, it's not happening. So, sucks to be you. Um, so I'd, I'd often get like people would like draw on my car and like key my car and do all this kind of stuff, right? It, would, uh, it hasn't happened for a while. But uh, people would like dump like stuff on my car and like paint and just in general make a mess of it all. Um, so I don't I don't think it's that in, I don't think it's impossible that somebody's trying to frame me. <laughs> but uh, I don't think it's likely either. Chances are it's just. I mean, chances are it's it's uh, my sister ended up cleaning out the car and left it there. Honestly. Um, if it, if it's a lot of garbage, uh, and if it's just a little bit, then then chances are people were just throwing it behind my car because, you know, somebody comes home with garbage every day, and instead of just walking the extra ten steps to their house, they end up throwing it behind my car. They're like, well, that's just gonna end up looking like theirs, so who cares? Which is uh, concerning either way, right? Whatever the case, somebody's littering, and I don't, I don't like litter. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get on people's butt about uh, getting mad for me and, and having my car there. Cause like, deal with it, fool. Like, I can put my car here. If you're littering, that's a whole other story, though, right? Like, that's that's stepping into uh, like you're just kind of a, a jerk territory, honestly. A stepping into I don't like you and we don't get along kind of territory. You have a big battle coming up. This equipment is an investment. Is it now? Because it didn't seem like I needed much equipment last time. I just YOLO'd it with a bloody shotgun, man. I probably wouldn't even need to, to buy anything. I could just kite around and grab this ammo. It would probably be doable. You know what? Screw it. We're not buying anything. Let's see if we can make it work. I think we can. This is going to be an annoying one. Um, before we get him to run, we're going to want to get all of the ammo. We're, we're going to want to be full on ammo before we get him running. For his uh, for his life. Shoot me. I'm not going to run forever. I'm just running for a little bit. I'm, j I'm only running for, for a little while, okay? Until right here. Okay. Now we go. Yeah. You don't need to to buy ammunition or guns or anything like that, dude. You can just end with 6k in your pocket. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, look at that dump. That's the main reason you do that, is for the dump. That was easier than I expected. I expected it to be, like, actually, like, kiting, but it was, a, uh, It was the easy boss. If it was, like, uh, King, pa uh, King Patriarch, or King, 
King Flash Pound, Abomination, maybe even Hans. We would have had to do a bit of kiting, but... The Patriarch on a map like this? Nah. You just you just get your ammunition and, and he's dead. It's, it's very consistent. Unless he manages to get away, but on a map like this, it's easy to kill him. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.